To them, take left after that rock. But did they listen? No, they sailed right into it. And here I am, lost in the middle of nowhere and late for my own appointment. I'll be the laughing stock of the seas. Ahoy, are you bound to the new Golden Sands outpost, me hearties? I'm Fizzy and I'll be the host of the Sea of Thieves Awards. Care to lend a hand to a down on his luck swashbuckler like myself? we've got going we've got lots of fireworks here we're all ready for celebrations how excited are we in chat let's have a look i see lots of new names in here as well ahoy ahoy and a welcome on in lots of lovely first time chatters here as well which is even more hype lovely to see you all i'm not gonna lie like most people would be a little bit nervous tonight we have got so much amazing things that are going to be happening on the show today uh, for those who don't know, I am Tizzy Tam. I mainly play a lot of Sea of Thieves. You might have seen me host a Sea of Thieves Fest 2022, and I'll be host of the 2023 one as well. And I am going to be your host for today. We have got lots of amazing things lined up, though. And I can't tell you everything yet. Look at them all with the fireworks. They're loving it. They're loving it. So let's see. Um, first question for everyone. Is there any awards that you're really looking forward to today? Any any exciting awards that anyone's looking forward to finding out the results for? I've got a few in mind. I would love to know um, about who is kind of like going to be the winner of the fortresses, actually, because they're so close. I was going, which fortress is going to win? Got some artists in here. Let's go. Our creators. Yep. Oh, the creator side is really good because this year... It is not only the celebrations of what uh, Rare do, the dev do, as, and everything like that, the people who do the music, but this is also a celebration for the community this time. So it's also got lots of community stuff involved too. So we're going to be looking at all different aspects of Sea of Thieves, which is super exciting. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we've got the awards show coming up in a moment, but I have got something exciting first that we are going to be doing. I'm going to take you to a quick interlude. I know we've already started, but there is a surprise. And I wonder if you can keep an eye out to see who our special guest could be. Are you ready? It's a good one. Let's see who it could be.
Welcome back, everyone. As you might have seen, we have an amazing special guest with us today. We have the one, the only, Mike Chapman here, creative director of Sea of Thieves. Can we get some ahoys in chat? Let's get some bigger ahoys. <laughs> How are you doing today, Mike? I'm very well. Hello, everyone. Oh, thank you for thank you for asking me to be here. It's awesome, awesome thank events. Can't wait to be part of it. Very exciting. Doing very well. Chat is going crazy for you now, right now. We've got Ahoy oh, just too, going all the way through chat. Too kind, Ahoy, too kind. <laughs> I think everyone was uh, quite surprised because we've kept this very well hidden. No one knows. So it was a big, big surprise for everyone. Is there anything that you're excited for within the award show today? Any uh, categories that have interested you? Ooh, I think, um, well, I know the answer to one of them. Um, <laughs> but I, I think some, some of the... Some of the top level things. I think the ones that I think we'd be really interested in terms of like player feedback. I think a community poll is also player feedback. So things like best adventure, best season, those kinds of things, the, the top level stuff. What what do you think might win best season? Because <sighs> mm. this season I don't uh, isn't included in that, I don't think. I, I would say I think season seven's got a good chance. Season seven. Captains of Adventure. That was a very fun, Captain's Adventure, bringing the whole cap captaincy in and stuff like that. Because I know that one took a lot of a lot of work, and there was a lot of people who were so excited for that. Yeah, and we've been talking about it since 2018, so it was great to finally get it out there. But you never know, season six, I think another sea forts have gone down incredibly well, and the Pirate Legend content. So maybe, maybe that one will sneak in there, we'll see. What is a, your favourite thing? I, I've gone into a bit of a question here and answer things. I'm really intrigued now. Um, but what is your like favourite event, even if it's like fortresses or quest wise? What is your favourite thing to that you enjoy playing in Sea of Thieves? Oh, core activity. It's mm. really hard to dissect player and being really close to it. I would, uh, I'd still go back to like the core treasure hunting system, the riddles, where the riddles push you around the island. I think that was that. Just that idea of being on a pirate adventure. Is it we, true that tried... you started making those riddles to start with? Like you would wrote some of the riddles? We did. So we, we it, initially, it was quite, in the prototype, it was quite um, quite functional. Like go to the thrice marked rock, walk six paces, but then we brought in the rhyming couplets. Um, so it really felt that it was missing that kind of magic of being on a pirate adventure. So we brought in all the rhyming couplets, which was quite challenging to do, but um, I think we... One of the things we pulled off well, I think. And the one thing I still struggle to this day doing is the riddles. <laughs> Every single time, <laughs> the riddles. Anytime someone says, can you do this one, Tizzy? No, you can do that one. <laughs> I always <laughs> struggle. It's just the riddles. They, can, I, I get where they are, but I never know where the things are. I just don't know the islands that well, unlike a lot of well, my friends. <laughs> as always, Rare Thief is the community's guardian angel when it comes yes. to all those landmarks. Yeah, Definitely. Incredible job. And, and one of my favourite things is how the adventures have brought back certain aspects. For example, the fortresses. Um, yes. So we've got to use those again. And I suddenly fell back into love with the fortresses when we had to start using them to put Flameheart's flag up. Team Flameheart here, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, I know, I was, I was on Joe Neat's side with that one. I was, I was going for Joe Neat on that one. Um, but I loved that whole aspect of bringing the adventures and bringing back events again, because sometimes yes. you forget about them. You do. Um, and a similar thought process with the Sirens Prize. Like, let's give you a reason to go down to the Sunken Kingdom. There's, there's, there's so much kind of scope out there to go revisit some existing locations, get you to think about them in a different way. So you'll, you'll see us do things like that as well as do some brand new stuff as well. Yeah, I was going to ask if there was any sort of potential revamps or thoughts in, in the plans, just normal thoughts. Okay, that's the... There oh. is being worked on at the moment, actually. I'll, 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 I'll give you that one. It's only a little thing, but yes. Oh, no, I like that because we've been having a conversation about forts for a long time. I know the com community have been chatting about them going, forts are a little bit out of place now with like, we've done it a lot and but they yeah. haven't brought it back in any adventure yet. So thank you very much for giving us that one. That was <laughs> a bit sneaky of me to The, the first of many, I'm sure. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm, I'm very good at trying to sneak these little... <laughs> of information out because i know the community are asking these sorts of things and we are try and get yeah. these little teases out um but yeah no thank you for giving us that one um and is there anything i know you can't tell us too much but is there anything that you recently have gone yes this is going to really go well with, with the community without telling us what it is but is there anything that makes you go 
Yes, it's yes. good. Yes. It, ha- it, it, happens, it happens quite a lot, but I will say there is something we're working on at the moment where it's one of those, and I've, I've said this before, whereas if the community could be the, the fly on the wall and see mm-hmm. what we're working on, I, I think it would be a... I think it'd be really hard to predict, and it would just be a what they're working on. What I think it's it's one of those. So something a little surprise. Well, I'll say a little. It's not a little, <laughs> but a little surprise coming to Sea of Thieves uh, that hopefully will be completely unexpected, alongside some stuff that we've already teased. So there'll be some surprises this year. Oh, well, that's very exciting. That's kind of made me go, oh, what? When's the next like news video? And when's the next podcast video coming uh, out? Because we haven't had one in a while. So. Yeah, there's definitely one coming. It, it'll it'll won't be immediately, but um, you've got to have you've got to have things like the stuff that the team just get so passionate about creating, and hopefully, blow some minds when it gets announced. I'm very excited. You already got me now, just really excited about anything that's coming. <laughs> I'm just oh, wanting to ask more questions, and I know that's probably bad for me because I am one to talk, and I could probably talk to you all day about see these if I could, <laughs> and try and get little pieces of information out of you. Um, especially to do with the law, because there has been a lot more focus on law, I've noticed recently, yes. uh, with the adventures. And we've got some people who are really keen on the law. Is there, like, is this going to potentially continue throughout the rest of the seasons that is foreseeable with the law, or is there any plans of stopping it for a bit? Yeah, I, honestly, the, even, I mean, even before the game was launched, we had a, we've always had that focus on the world building and the law. And it's always been part of their plan and part of their thinking even though it hasn't kind of ended up in the game and and like i'm like so many players out there you know you some of that great law that you can explore in a novel in a comic book series you want to get as much as that into the game it's like the, it has to be in the game to to truly have impact with people so adventures have been a great way to do that on a regular basis and we've always got that law thread running through seasons so it's not going anywhere i think we'll change how we deliver it but it's an important part of keeping you immersed in the Sea of Thieves world. Yeah, and, and I've, I've been one who's only recently got a lot of the books and started reading the books because they have been, they give you a lot more in depth, like the uh, Serpent's Lie sales, um, which are coming out for partners, which have been announced recently. There's actually a lot more information and lore behind those than I think people first saw when they saw it. Yes, yes. It's in the journal. Is there going to be more about those sales coming soon, or is it just from well, what we've got already? Actually, that little that uh, little little bit of trivia here, but the that little section in the Tales from the Sea of Thieves law book that mentions those three ships, um, Mermaid's Demise, Mad Monkey, Serpent's Lie, um, that was actually memorialising our players playing for the first time. So the idea that when we had the first players play that battle for real. They played on those ships. So we took the fact that our players had played and we turned it into a real bit of lore. And that's why some of those names are familiar to the community in that book. Wow. That's that's a really nice bit of information about that. Because I know when they came out, a lot of people were going, oh, they're just sales. And then people started to notice them in the artistic works. And then people started yes. getting out all their books and were looking through them going, there must be more to these sales. And then we saw it recently, but yeah, thank you so much for giving us a little bit more insight on those because I know oh, a lot of people right. are wanting them already and are already eyeing them up, especially now they've got a lot of law behind them. They seem to be very special. Yes. Um, so if you don't mind, we're going to do a little bit of a quiz with you, though, about some law. Cool. Um, so you're going to have 25 seconds to answer each question, <laughs> and you're going to have 10 <laughs> questions in total. We don't think you're going to use the whole 25. I know. That's, that's well, we'll <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we do know who's done these questions for you. So, yeah, it, it'll be very, very interesting. Let's get over to the screen here now. Okay. So, are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Okay. I'm ready. This is, this is going to be it. So, the first question. Uh, quite a simple one. I thought this was a trick question. Okay. So, just really think about this one. Re- okay. You might have to think really hard. Where can you sell chickens? Are you just going to use the whole time? Where can you sell chickens? I'm trying to work it. That's a trick question. I I did that too. You've got six seconds left. Uh, at the merchant traders at the various outposts. Is that I... just... I'm like, I've got this. I know you told me who came up with these questions, so I'm on my guard. I've got to be honest. 
sorry. This chat, I've just gone, oh boy. And Joe Torres just gone, Mike, please. Well, I know the answer, but I thought there was a subtext to it. Come I, on. Of course I know the answer. I also thought it's that It's burnt too. into my brain. A lot of people were shaking their heads at you right now thinking, but I also had the same thing going, is this a trick question? Because, you know, that's a pretty simple question, yeah. isn't it? Okay. If they're all like that, then it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So your second question. Where was Flameheart's sarcophagus hidden in the Devil's Roar? Uh... La, 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 la. It was on Flintlock Peninsula. Yes. Very, very well done. You got that one. I, I could see you not really a... thinking hard on that one. Well, there's there's lots of flame heart things on, but yeah, it's not as hard as the chicken one. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken one, I feel like that's just going to be made a meme everywhere at the moment. Like people are on Twitter going, Mike Chapman doesn't know where to sell some chickens on the Sea of Thieves. I know. <laughs> I know. Just leave. I'll have to yeah. just leave. <laughs> Just don't blame me for the questions. Oh, I didn't write them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the answers here going, is that a trick question? <laughs> okay, so question number three. Which right. of the Ashen's Lords built the fortresses around the Sea of Thieves? Wouldn't she? That's it. It's over. That's it. It's, it's over. That's it. It's... What, call yourself a law man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it was Captain Grimm. Captain yeah, it was Grimm. between Warden and Gr Warden Chee and Captain Grimm. But yeah. Wh which Sorry. one is your favourite Ashen Lord? Probably Captain Grimm. That's the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one we had first. Actually, that was the one we designed first. One of them sounds really northern, and I can't remember which one it is now. But one of them's got quite a northern accent to it. And I always, every time I see that one, I go, yes, we've got the northern one. I can't figure out which one it is. But they've got some I really remember. good voices to them as well. I have. That was, a, that was a fun recording session. I don't remember that one specifically, but yes. <laughs> a lot of people saying you should be fired right now. <laughs> it's, it's over. Well, was that question um, three? <laughs> question three. <Yeah. laughs> but it's okay. I think some of them get easier. I think. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I need to. I need to earn this back now, don't I? Definitely, definitely. Okay. So, question number four: On which island did Briggsy leave someone to starve in a cage? Um. Shit. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, this has gone off the I'm, rails. I'm looking, I've got eyes on the timer, eyes on the timer. Uh, Five. Steve Haven. Oh, dare you. Oh, my God. No. Right. If, I, if I give you a hint of it being a outpost, does that help? Oh, it's Galleon's grave on the top. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, <it's sighs> Gall you got it the second time, though. You've kind of redeemed yourself a little. You've redeemed Look, yourself we've a little. We've worked, we've worked on a lot of stuff on this game. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that as reasoning, when, even when chat are just uh, saying, come on, Mike. <laughs> I know. I don't think chat know the answers, though, because they haven't actually put the answer it's in memory. chat at all. You've got to remember these things. Come on, I can still okay. earn you some can... credit back. Yeah, you can redeem it as the questions get harder, because I, I think they're getting harder again now. <laughs> Let's see if chat can also play along with this, because chat are currently going at you, but I haven't seen them answer one at all either. Yeah. Apparently, um, I've just had a uh, merfolk tell me they did pick the hardest questions. So, you know, it's we're really testing your knowledge here. But I, I, I understand the logic. I should know the answer to these questions, but I'm only human. You, there's a lot of things in stuck in my brain. And especially with new things that are coming out, you don't want to get that all confused up with what you're doing right. at the moment. I'll stop adding caveats. Let's uh, <laughs> let me earn it back. <laughs> Question number five. What was the name of the fort before it became Fort the Damned? Uh, it was it was Lost Gold Fort. Originally was Lost Silver Fort. No, it wasn't. It was. Oh my God! Oh, someone in chat's got this. Chat again, it. Don't do it to me. I don't remember. I don't remember. Lost Gold Fort is still there as well. That's the worst part. I don't remember. What was it? Old Boot Fort. There it was. Oh, but see, it looks like a boot. We, I named that <laughs> as well. Wait, you actually named that one. So named you, all the islands. 
I named all the islands. Did you have reasonings behind naming them? Like, like you said, it looked, it, like a boot. it looked like a boot. It looks like a boot. It's got two tiers, which obviously is very distinctively for the damage. It has a lower tier and an upper tier, hence it looks like a boot. This is just, this is, you will it's redeem recall. yourself. I, I have oh. faith in you, Mike. I really do. I really okay. do. You, I'm going to open Rare it. Thief. I'm going to open Rare <laughs> Thief right now. <laughs> you have to type it quick enough in 20, have you got typing skills to do it in 25 do, seconds? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That defeats the point. <laughs> I think chat are enjoying it, though. Uh, Joe Tara is, like, getting a uh, Falco on speed dial right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's fine. You've got this. You've got this. Question number six. Number six, Ron, now. Which island, um, which island that is not in the Devil's Roar has a skeleton in a cave with a necklace of, of the Forsaken Alliance? Oh, I know that. That's um, Under Valley. Yes! We've got redemption! Come you on. are correct. That, that was... Again, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> Ones that stick with me, memories. That was we we agonised over the skeleton arm puzzle. Oh really? Trickster's clues. Yeah. Ah, I like I like the reasoning you're giving behind these as well when you like figure out the answer because it feels like we're getting a bit more in depth about how you were thinking when we you created. Yes. It. Yes, cool. I remember writing the the actual riddles on how to align the you know the lovers that hold hands with the roses in their eyes and it was all entertaining to the. So Makes me seem really dark now, but I do remember <laughs> writing all that stuff. Oh, chat did really well on that one as well. They they had you covered on that one too. So, yeah. question number seven. A little bit easier, yeah. Which island has paintings of seahorses? Uh, that. Discovery Ridge. Yes, you are definitely on the road to redemption now. That is correct. It is Discovery Ridge. It's one of my favourite shaped islands as well. Yeah. It's very unique. Well done. We're on the road of redemption now. It's fine. They're all happy for you now. I can see it. They're all dis shouting Discovery Ridge, but they're all happy as well. <laughs> okay, question number eight. Now I have to remember how to pronounce the name of this one because, like I said, I'm very dyslexic. And Lissetti always gets mixed up in my mind. I always say Lissetti wrong. Okay. Okay. So you've got a bit of a clue to what it could be about. Who gave Lissetti and DiMarco a map left behind by their father? Oh. Oh. Um. No one remember. in chat got this. I no don't remember. One. It's I fine. don't remember. No one in chat got it. What was if the give, answer? If I give you a clue, it's got old at the start. Old begins with a B. <sighs> Still not helping. Old Bilanga. I oh, pronounced yeah. that right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's a deep one. That one. That was a <laughs> tricky one. That one. I I wouldn't have known the answer to that one, and I have not seen anyone in chat know that one as well. So someone's gone really deep into these questions. Yeah, that would have been great if that was the only one I got wrong. But <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Now, the next one I like. So, question number nine. Which group did DeMarco disband? Sea Dogs. Yeah, with a very difficult decision to disband it. That is correct. We always remember that difficult decision. That was one. Seagulls. I was like, that was a chicken question again. I thought that was, was going to be a... Yes. Like, Think of his history, think of the novels, think of the <laughs> comics, sorry, what am what I missing? No, yeah. no that, that's very much correct, the Sea Dogs. Um, and I think that was a big shock to a lot of the community as well, but with the whole new advent, well, the new season that have come out, actually a lot of more people have gone for this, we're loving this 1v1 PvP, um, mm -hmm. which has been really great to see, and it's kind of like giving us like, oh, actually we are getting that PvP back in some way, and I yep, reckon a lot more people are using it. Yeah, that's it. But old DeMarco disbanding the disbanding the Sea Dogs, leaving the Sea of Thieves. It was yeah, Soren Queen's revenge. And, and break, whole... break up the pirates' life, literally. 
that whole mystery was so good. So many people spent ages, hours just trying to figure it all out and trying to get all the pieces. Yeah, um, it was a it was a it was a joy to work on. I think I think we learned a lot from that first mystery in terms of have it shorter, more compact, and allow people to focus on it. So we had lost sounds going on at the same time, and it was a very busy time for us. Lots going on. So yeah. Did you keep first... an eye out a lot on like what people were doing online? Were you watching people's <laughs> ideas? Yeah, it was it was it was kind of a in many ways it was like a prototype for what a mystery could be. We were tr we were trying lots of different things. So yeah, just seeing the difference between some. Some of the stages, people were just flying through, and then some of them just completely stumping air players. So yeah, we're taking a lot of that into into mystery two. Oh, mystery two. Mystery two. Any signs? Not too, not, too not, not too long to wait. Hmm. A lot of people have been trying to find clues still in the back of videos that get put out, you know, in like the back of like the Emporium updates and stuff where we have someone in the mm. background. I know a lot of people are still looking out for clues, and I haven't seen any that have been found yet. But is there, have we had any clues that we don't know about? Not yet. Not okay. yet, but not too long to wait now. Not too long. Very exciting. Now, it's your last question. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? <gasps> this is, this it. is it. This I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bet anything on this. <laughs> <It could be. laughs> this is a redemption question. The, the whole thing will be okay if you get this one right. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. Ready to sell snakes. <laughs> yeah, where do you sell snakes? <laughs> um, <laughs> probably somewhere else. <laughs> um, so here we go. Question number ten: Who is the mother of Lacedi Sai? Athena. You are correct. We have got a definite redemption there. I would have not known that. See, if someone coming new into law, I didn't know it. I know. It'd be a shame if I didn't get that one. Th Athena's fortune. The children are the fortune. It's the mother's fortune. It's Marco and Lissetti. That's the real meaning. It's not gold. It's not about the gold. It's about the glory. Always say that to everyone. Yeah. It's not about the gold, is it? It's about just the glory. And I think a lot of people are seeing that now with the new update and stuff. People just, there's a lot more people just being kind to one another. And they're going, you know what? It's just about getting that opportunity to fight and practice and play a That's game it. we all love. Good, good sportsmanship here. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful to see. Um, I know I had a, a question just pop in, which was really exciting. Um, but there was a question from chat saying, is there any plans to do anything with the arena area? Because obviously we've got the, nothing there now for the arena tavern. The tavern. Yeah, so the, the, the tavern has, has actually been earmarked for a few things. Um, we, we did, we, it wasn't actually... Uh, part of the plan with what we ended up with but we did consider it as a clubhouse for captains um as part of season seven we did consider that as in like a private club that captains could go in and chat chat with each other and buy things for their ships but it, it, it again it didn't feel like it was going far enough so it's now earmarked for something else is it going to be something really really big or is it just like one of those like little things that actually we see and then we suddenly really fall in love with, even though it's just this tiny little thing. Some, something something bigger. Something, something bigger. bigger. It feels like it's such a beloved space. We put so much it's got so much meaning to the to the world and the world building that we want to do it justice. So we'd rather wait than rush out a smaller reason to use it. You know, you'll you'll definitely be able to go back to the tavern in the future. That's really, really exciting. We've got lots of things that you've kind of like hinted towards as well, which has been really great to to like have and stuff um so thank you so much for joining us today it is really really appreciated Great. you've been amazing and it shows you are human not knowing every single answer to a question <laughs> <laughs> i am i do have my forgetful days yes and there's a there's a lot of well it's a testament to how much law there is in the game i mean it's so far reaching now and comics and novels and wikis yeah, no, thank you for thank you for testing me. I'll gladly come back and continue to redeem myself another time. Oh, I like that. We get a little challenge here. I think they're already right. They'll probably be writing up questions as we speak about more more things to ask you. You might be bombarded at Sotfest. You never you never know. <laughs> oh, I hope so. They're the, they're the, that's the best time when there's no time limit on it. We can just chat and answer everybody's you know kind of even the more esoteric questions. It's wonderful. I'm looking forward to seeing as many people as possible there. 
Yeah, you had that really long queue of people. I remember just seeing that as I was walking around, a long group of people waiting to speak to you and you just chatting for ages with each person. It's great though. Nothing, nothing's better than just getting to chat to passionate people that notice the little things that in your wildest dreams you hope they'd notice. And when people notice, it means the world. So we, we take as much out of it as, as people do. Honestly, a big, big thank you, though, for, for joining us today. It's really appreciated for you to take your time out of your, your evening when you're, you know, not working and stuff. So thank you. And thank you for all the work Pleasure. you and the whole team do for Sea of Thieves because you bring this huge community of people together and everyone has fun playing the game. Charity stuff is done through the game as well, which some of you might, you might have even heard about. There was a big charity event for Mental Health UK that's happened. And yeah. it's all because yeah. without Sea of Thieves, some of these things wouldn't be happening. So a big, big thank you to you and everyone on the team because it's absolutely amazing what you've done. It's so. an absolute pleasure. We 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 love the game as as much as you all do. And thank you for running events like this. It's for folks to buy the awards. It's it's wonderful. Um, it's it's for us. It's it's the dream that we would have had years ago that uh, the community would be so thriving that it would run events like this. So thank you everyone involved thank you and thank you to everyone watching thank you for playing sea of thieves thank you so much more to come more to come and a few little spoilers there so we've got to keep those written down somewhere so we all remember them but thank you very much thank you
welcome welcome back um we're currently in game now for a little bit of what we're going to be doing and we are being joined by some amazing community members while we do a quick game just before we start the full-on show heads up the full-on show is going to be around 40 minutes long for the award show and i will tell you that now so you know you can go for a wee break or anything like that and get your food and take any medicine etc etc you need because your well-being is really important too so make sure you are staying healthy while watching the show today i have got my water with me as well so make sure you are as well because the award show itself where we announce the awards will be about 40 minutes long but we are going to be here for a short mini game and chatting to a few of our amazing community members here we have got these lovely ones i just stood here at the moment uh, look at them look at them just already dancing around having a fun time we have gaming uh anja looting Liza larue dread doug a pirate and thor von blitz as our lovely community members who are going to be with us for this part of the stream some of the names you probably recognize um <laughs> i know them <laughs> yes we know them exciting exciting um so yeah we've got some amazing amazing people here let's say a big hello 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 how are we hello good hello. thank you Nervous. good good i'm just gonna make sure we've got all the sounds right <laughs> super okay. so i'm gonna first of all uh, ask uh, just a general few questions to you this um today to start with before we get on to an amazingly fun game the questions aren't scary. I'm not quizzing you like we did with Mike Chapman, who got, I believe, 6.5 correct of the answers out of 10. But I'm not going to lie, they were very hard questions. I'm not, not doing a dig at you there, Mike. You did really well. <laughs> so, okay, my, uh, one of my first questions is something about 2022. Pick one thing that you really enjoyed about 2022. In game, we're on about this, yeah. Anything, so it could be anything to do with Sea of Thieves related. Uh, mine was actually Sotfest, I think. Gotta be, hasn't it? Sotfest was great. Yeah. What about Sotfest? Did you really love? Um, just the the community, really. It was just an amazing day, and I think everyone enjoyed it. It was, was it? Incredible. I've got some people insane in chat right now. Sotfest was incredible. Sotfest, Sotfest was probably my highlight as well um so yeah any other exciting things from 2022 i thought it was pretty awesome when we yeah. saved golden sands that was pretty cool yeah so you were team save golden sands oh yeah 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 I, are you I sure you were team save sands. golden sands now <laughs> I'm, I'm positive uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> And it was a big, it was a big high point for PowerPoint itself. I feel like that's the biggest impact PowerPoint ever had in the game so far. <laughs> a lot about PowerPoint, yes. A lot about PowerPoint. Yes. I have not gone rogue. Don't worry. Yeah. I was absolutely awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. I mean, your PowerPoint was the reason why I was so golden sense. It was really close, and afterwards, Mike Chapman did say this must have made the difference. He might have been being sarcastic, but I took it literally. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, that's what we're going with. It's a PowerPoint presentation, save school to save. We did it, everybody. Oh, yes. Now I, now I know what you're talking about with the PowerPoint. It compl I was there going, what happened with PowerPoint? And now I remember you someone did the you. PowerPoint. <laughs> oh, I remember that now. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot of fun. That one. Yeah, I remember those because all the like persuasion tactics, wasn't there? We have a lot to PowerPoint yeah, this year. They say Golden shot. Sands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and is there anything that in like feature wise in game for twenty twenty two that you really enjoyed? Just remembering that um, the whole PvP thing that's just come in doesn't include is not included in that, but the previous seasons. Bobby. Captaincy was nice. Yeah, captaincy yeah, was a big thing. Sure. Yeah, that yeah. was very cool. That was very cool. What what did you enjoy about uh, captaincy? Mainly uh, just finally being able to put the name on my ship. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what names of ships have you got between you all? Uh, I've got the helping hand, being a deckhand. Oh, yeah. 
My ship is so annoying. That's a good name. Uh, I got the one-legged seahorse. <laughs> I the one-legged seahorse! <laughs> I like that, I like it! My sloop is named the accurate countdown. Oh, very good. <laughs> the, the what that now? Is awesome. <laughs> the accurate countdown, it was voted on <laughs> by the community. It's, it's gone Our rogue in here, hasn't it? It's gone a bit rogue. Uh, so, um, do you have any idea of what game we're going to be playing today? No, uh, no. we were having no. a bit of a guess, weren't we, earlier? I've got, a, I've got this that's going to help us. Um, yeah. And we're going to go over. Have a little look. Come with me. Follow me. Chat, can you guess what game we're going to quickly play? We're not going to play Rocket League. Oh, oh, oh. Musical chairs musical pegs. Oh, musical stools. Musical stools. That's what we're going to play. We had a few guesses in chat. We had Keg Pass the Parcel. We could have done that one. Imagine that. Who falls off the dock? I like that one. Yeah. That's, we've got some good ideas, but we're actually going for musical one this time. I'm just going to make sure my music's loud enough because I don't actually have shanties on. Tamas coming in with the TDM. Sadly, we're not saying I to the TDMs today. <laughs> Let's get the music up for the shanties. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're going to play a bit of musical chairs. So we've got stools. Stools were added, obviously, this season. Um, yeah. So we have the stools around here. And what I'm going to do is play music. We're going to do a test as a start with, because as you can see around here, we have four stools. And I have counted those correctly. I was good at my yeah. maths. <laughs> I questioned myself when I saw the extra one on the stage for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the four stools there. I'm going to play music. And then, as soon as I stop, you have to go and run and sit on the stool. You cannot oh, hover. Not pick the stool. Not pick the stool up. It's like musical chairs. <laughs> do you pick the chairs? Do you pick the chairs up in musical chairs? Is that have I been playing it wrong well, the whole I'm time? I'm helping. Oh, they were this season. This, this season, this year, last year. You know what I mean, Salas. So you can go anywhere around. Don't hover near each other. Just go around, have a little bit of a boogie, a little bit of a party. And as soon as the music stops, you need to find a chair. We're going to do a practice run first. Are you ready? We are ready. I'm absolutely <laughs> ready. <laughs> Off you go. Oh, that's a bit oh, sad. Wait. That is a bit sad, yeah. Oh, I like this song. Uh, this way. Wait, which well, way? Go which any way you want to. Anyway. Apparently, that's how you win, is by pulling the chair I'm from underneath the opponent. Three. Is that? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Super, that was a good test run, a very good test run. Apparently some people still don't know how to sit on chairs, um, even with the funny blue hat. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to remove a chair. I'm going to remove this one because you've moved it. <laughs> that chair is going to be put away. Now this is where the game actually starts. Are you all ready? Ready? Yeah, well, I was born ready. Also, you were bo uh, were you born with teeth? Uh, there no. we go. Off you go. <laughs> Let's see you getting some emotes in chat. I want to see you getting some emotes in chat for the music. <laughs> do, 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 oh, do, do, do. I'm just making um, uh, the chat get some emotes if they can. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can get some emotes in chat. Let's go. Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh no. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And... Oh, some of you thought I was going to do it when I said it. That's not how you play the game. <laughs> oh, no. The original picker-upper of the stools is sadly out this time. Let's get some love in chat, though. Very, very close there. Just sadly was not your time. If you want to make your way up and stand on the stage, feel free to. You can stand up here and make a pose. Okay, I'm going to remove another chair. We're going to move this one. Ooh, oh, we're going to make oh. it quite hard now. They're separated, very separated. <laughs> Are you ready to get the emotes going? It's going to be a race now, isn't it? Definitely is. Luckily, I've got the best of you in the house here. Oh, no. Off we go. 
We have got three left in the musical chairs. Look at the emotes go. Let's go. Oh, some of you are out of breath. Golly. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes so I don't see. Oh. Oh, no. Let's get some love in chat as well here. Oh, now we're down with two. Which two have we got left? Oh. I'm sure someone pulled that away from me then. No. Uh, you the, 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 you think the chair pulled. got pulled away? <laughs> I <did>. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of one more stool. We're going to move another stool. The last stool is going to be placed in a difficult place. That's where it's going to be placed. We're going to make it a little bit harder. You've got to get up there. Now, you cannot hover around this area. I want the, the rules of the real stool sitting championship to be applied. No hovering. Keep moving. And don't push each other out the way. I don't want to see any guns involved. Fair, square, and even. <laughs> yes, no, no TDMing right now. It's not the time nor the place. Are you ready? Off you go. <laughs> we don't have any. Oh, Musical chair championship is on right now. We've got our last two. I know, no Liz. Liz was so close. Who do you think is going to win? I have got names shuffled, obviously. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with the spinning because it's not disorienting. I like how you're spinning backwards every so often. Is that helping? Nope. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes so I'm not classed as cheating. Yeah, I'm just looking at you, okay? Oh! 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 Okay. I literally turned around and saw that, and it was so clutch. You were both next to the chair at the same time. We were both right there. Congratulations to our winner. Please take your prize of the stool and hold it with great pride. Let's get the confetti going. Confetti going. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed you that little game there. Yeah. I do that love a few mini games. Brilliant. Party games yeah. and Sea of Thieves. We need more of it. We just need more we party do. games. Definitely, Tom. Absolutely agree. Can oh, I just yep. say? Yes. Can I just say? Um, look out for the stool this year at Sotfest 2023. Wait, a, a stool at Sotfest 2023? Did we all hear that? Did you all hear that, Jack? That's a spoiler there. Spoiler, a stall spoiler. for 2023. There might be more than one. There might be more than one. <laughs> okay. There might be. So, um, will they been... be up for sale? Uh -huh. um, don't know yet. I would happily have a stall. That sounds really weird. Let's not go there. <laughs> this is going to derail the whole of this award show if I carry on with this conversation. <laughs> Stoolfest! Oh, yes, a great Stool name. Let's yeah. go with it. Stoolfest. <laughs> Stoolfest 23. Stool 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 yeah. Let's go. So, honestly, thank you so much, all of you, for joining. I really, really oh, do appreciate it. You have been absolutely Brilliant. amazing. These members of the community have been great throughout this year. That's why they were picked. We've got some boat swans here. Boats. Boat swans and deck hands, and they have. I can't swans. pronounce boat swans, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they have been absolutely amazing in the community, which is why they've come forward today. A lot of you probably do know them because they are absolutely amazing and they are lovely people. So make sure you keep an eye out for them on the seas. Um, it's really appreciated. Thank you so, so much. But with that, do you know what it's nearly time for? <laughs> to find out things. It's time <laughs> to find out things. Yes, so, we have things. got the time now. But before we go on to the show, we've got one last thing. I need to say a absolute huge thank you to Joe Toro, who you might have seen in chat. Big, huge thank you to you, Joe Toro, right now, who has absolutely helped so much with the organization all side regarding the people who are involved with this today. A huge shout out to Joe Toro. Can we get some absolute big love hearts in chat right now? Some great love hearts for Joe Toro, who has done so much work here and was very busy with a lot of the things that you'll see coming up very soon. We absolutely love Joe Toro, an amazing member. I say member, community manager. Um, and 
absolutely lovely person, always kind, and is so great towards the community, but has helped out so much with this community-driven event. As some of you may know, this is a community-driven event with the Merfolk Lullaby, um, but Rare's involvement is really, and CFE, shall I say, involvement is really much appreciated, and we are so grateful for all the help that they have given. And with that, it is time to officially start the countdown for the Sea of Thieves Awards 2022. Are we all ready, chat? Are you all ready? Are you all ready? Let's get some hype in chat. Are you all ready? I will be speaking to you after the um, reward awards bit has happened. Just as a reminder, this is this bit is pre-recorded. It is not live. Thank you so much for all the lovely messages and follows. I am going to shout that out, to be quite honest, because it's really appreciated. But thank you to everyone who has been involved with this, everyone in the community who has been here as well. You have all been absolutely amazing. And with that, it is time for the awards show to start. <laughs> 